Hey everyone, in today's unproductive episode 3, we're going to be talking a little bit about how I went from the MacBook Air and sharing my sort of experience so far with the MacBook Pro. I mean, in some sense, I sort of think hardware is quite important to productivity, but to start this story, I want to go back to 2011 or 12. Hello there, this is a Samsung um, Chromebook 550, and I'm just going to test today the... Uh... So this is my Chromebook all the way back in 2011. And this is when I was actually doing a quick video explaining something about it and actually sharing with the community. But at the time I didn't really have the YouTube channel. Now the Chromebook actually served me really well because I was doing mainly web-based items and it was pretty dundy. Like it was really lovely uh, experience because I did everything in web and it was a cheap price and I could just get them. And I was quite young so the investment was pretty decent. Now I actually had a Samsung Chromebook uh, 1 I think it was and then 3 or 4 iterations of the Chromebook after that. But after using them quite aggressively over 3 or 4 years I was definitely looking to upgrade to something better. So skip forward to October 2016. Now I actually filmed a video in this kitchen about how I moved from a Chromebook to a MacBook Air. Now this is a video of me sort of announcing that I was getting the MacBook Air, a big upgrade and at the time it was something that I was really happy about because moving from Chromebooks after four years to an Air was a massive change. Now actually just to be clear, I don't think that hardware is essentially beneficial to productivity directly, I think it's an element of productivity. Now the Air did some amazing thing for me. Um, after even using it for a couple of days, I was editing videos smoothly. You can even see the quality of my content in the channel just really blew out the water. Now I ordered this MacBook Pro in January at the end of this uh, last month and I ran to the App Store to pick it up. <laughs> I came home and I unboxed it. Uh, from here, I was pretty impressed. The first couple of days were easy to get started with, um, and after maybe half an hour to an hour, I was pretty much onboarded with the whole thing. Now, just a few spec things. I got the MacBook Pro 13-inch with touch bar. Now, this is with RAM of 16 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte RAM. CPU, I upgraded to 3.3 gigahertz, um, and that's because um, it was a fairly reasonable uh, price for that. It was like £80 extra and I sort of thought it's a nice upgrade. And then SSD I upgraded to 512 uh, gigabytes. So that was something that I struggled with the previous MacBook. So this unit probably came to about two grand, but it was a big investment and something that I knew that over time would pay back. Now in terms of the MacBook Air, I have no qualms with it at all. It was a brilliant device um, and something that I will be passing <laughs> and selling along to my mother-in-law actually. But I was thoroughly impressed with the whole unit and um, I would go back to it any day of the week. This upgrade was purely because I wanted to excel and, and speed up my workload. Now the reason why I upgraded is mainly because of work. Uh, content creation um, being a bit speedier on that and actually being able to scale with certain items was really the goal of getting this MacBook Pro. Now what I love about it so far, the touch bar unit is pretty amazing. I didn't think I'd like it and to be honest if it, it didn't have it and it didn't have the the CPU increase because of it, I probably wouldn't get it. Apps like Bear and Chrome are optimized for it and they look great and so, some other apps actually do a great job of it. Now speed, speed is really amazing on this thing. I can edit really rapidly and I can export rapidly as well. I'm even able to do short Instagram videos within like five minutes and post them up really rapidly. So it makes a, a huge amount of difference. The next thing is retina display. Everything's so much crispier and the color gamut on it is pretty damn amazing. Now I'm getting work done a lot faster I would say in terms of the whole experience um, and that's just after a week. Now things I hate about the unit, the touch bar, the touchpad is so much bigger than the last one, it's sort of a bit weird sometimes. The touch bar is awkward to get used to and sometimes and still to this day I accidentally tap Siri or the backspace and ruin the piece of work I'm doing. <laughs> um, the USB-C area is something that I need to get used to, I bought this nice Lenovo um, unit to go alongside it. I believe it was reasonably priced, I'll include the link in the description, but allows me to connect USBs and SSD cards and even the charging port as well. But even that slows down the speed of everything, but it just is a good experience so far. Now in terms of productivity, I guess my productivity has improved from using it. Of course, if I gave a bigger and better unit to someone else, 
they would improve because it's faster and speedier. But in terms of actual workload, um, being able to handle all the workload on here so far has been really a huge relief. Um, so actually, this upgrade has been much needed and much wanted. I was on the MacBook Air for a year and a half, so I definitely warranted the upgrade, mainly because I sort of hit capacity with the unit, um, and it's something that I definitely wanted to do. So guys, in essence, moving to a MacBook Pro has been a very beneficial experience in my first week or so. So guys, that was my MacBook Pro 13 inch Retina 2018 review. Uh, let me know in the comments what laptop you're using and how well you find it for your productivity. It'd be great to hear and I hope that you enjoyed today's feature on the MacBook Pro. I hope it gave you some insights in case you're looking to buy one um, and uh, hopefully it gave you some value. Anyway guys, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you have a great week, keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon in another unproductive series video. Cheers.